Hi everybody, this is uh, Josh Thomas. I'm going to show you how to set up a domain name. Uh, it's one of the most important first steps you can do uh, to get a, establish a web presence. You need some web real estate. Uh, the first one I recommend is getting your name.com if possible. Get it as soon as you can because you don't want to end up with uh, like an extra random number at the end of your name or something, you know, like I did. So hey, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take the uh, lemons and make some lemonade out of it and use it for a little branding, I guess. Anyway, go to my website, joshthomas80.com, okay, and click on Free Tools. This page is going to look a little different eventually. Uh, click on Website Tools, and right there at the top, okay, you see um, all of these other options you can do with uh, getting your, your website set up for, for on the cheap. Uh, right at the top, get your domain. I've kind of listed these in order of importance. So you're going to just click on Get Your dom Domain. I've already set it up for you. Okay, and uh, then you're just going to start your uh, start your process here and find find your name. You know, let's uh, you know just start typing things in. John Smith. I'm sure this isn't available, but you know, let's try it. Okay, JohnSmith.com is already taken. So uh, if you have a uh, more original name like uh, Franz. Lieberwitz or something like that. Uh, maybe that's available. Hopefully that is. Yeah, friends. If you're friends Lieberwitz, then you're in luck. You know, you can have your name.com. Okay, now check this out. There's a lot of stuff on here that you just don't need, and there's so much of it, it's really hard to get through everything. Okay, look at all this stuff. None of it matters. Okay, you can get your .net, .info, whatever you want. The, you know, don't don't waste your time with that. Just get your .com and you're good. Uh, you can buy some premium names. And then down here we're going to say proceed to checkout. Okay, and here's some more upselling. And you know, the first time I did this, it was really hard for me to find the I just want to check out button, but it's right here. Okay, you can ignore everything else on the page unless you want to buy all that stuff. I mean, go for it, but uh, I haven't found a use for it yet. So uh, anyway, you're going to continue to check out. Okay, it gives you some more options for, uh, oh yeah, one thing you're going to do is you're going to change here. I'm going to do one year because I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to be doing in five years and maybe I won't need this website anymore. Uh, the price difference is negligible, so I would recommend just doing a year and uh, you can renew in a year at that time. Okay, none of that other stuff is really necessary. Um, down here at the bottom... Make sure you say, no thanks, I'm ready to check out, unless you want to check out this stuff. I mean, there is some pretty cool stuff on here, but uh, I just don't use any of it. Maybe you will. Uh, maybe you'll have a use for it. I just uh, don't want to waste you any money. So we're going to say continue. Okay, and again, a lot more stuff to kind of confuse you a little bit. Oh, I, I put something else in here earlier as a test. So it looks like I'm buying two domains right now. Anyway, uh, and then we're just going to click on checkout now, and that's going to take you to the page. Now I'm already signed in, so it's going to pull up a lot of sensitive information for me. So I'm going to, I'm just not going to click on that. But if you're new, you click on here and you fill in your information, set up an account, and you're good. You're going to get an email uh, that's going to tell you exactly what to do next, where to go, how to log in, and all of that. And that's going to take you to something called the domain manager. Okay, and oh, by the way, you can see that right here on the left, domain manager. Okay, once you logged in, you can just go to domain manager and it looks like this. Okay, and what you'll do here is the first thing you need to do is you select your website. Cause so I've got 80tools.com set up. 80tools.com is the website that I use for all of the uh, programs and uh, software that I recommend on my site. Okay, so that way when people go there, they know that it's something that I'm recommending. If you look, when I went to when you went to GoDaddy, you see how it says domains.80tools.com. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, first thing you want to do is if you're uh, hosting with HostGator, you want to set your name servers. Okay, it takes a second to pull up. But your name servers are telling you, you know, where the domain is going to point, where where is the information 
that you want people to find when they type in your URL. Okay, so we're going to go over to uh, select custom name servers and see all this code down here. Uh, we're going to go to HostGator control panel, and there's another video on how to set that up. Okay, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Okay, here's your name servers. You're just going to select, copy, paste. And you're going to do it again for the second name server. Select, copy, there, is, there we go, paste. Okay, and we're going to say OK. And while it's doing that, that's going to take a second. Um, and then there's, yeah, there's another little upsell thing here. No thanks. Set name servers. So uh, can't, uh, can't knock them for trying, right? Um, anyway, so what, another thing I want to show you is subdomains. Okay, Remember when you saw domains.adtools.com? Well, this little nugget right here is a subdomain. So if you just typed in adtools.com, well, there's nothing there right now. I, I may put something there eventually, but I don't know. But I created this domain uh, solely for the purpose of referring my, uh, my visitors to websites that I recommend. Okay, so I added this subdomain. Let me show you how I did it. Right down here at the bottom it says subdomains, 51 available. You get 90 subdomains. So I've used 49 to this point. Okay. And then these are, you know, a lot of the things that I've I've I am recommending to people. Okay. So it's really easy to set up a subdomain. You just click add. <clears throat> and you're going to add a subdomain. So let's say I wanted to add a subdomain that um, referred people to a, uh, a really cool site of a, a friend of mine, a colleague that, that I work with. So I'm going to say, uh, let's say friends, and then it's going to automatically populate .80tools.com. And then I'm going to forward to my friend's site, uh, like uh, let's say Google SEO magic. Okay, that's Antonio Coleman's site. If you don't know about Antonio Coleman, uh, it's a uh, you got to check him out, man. He'll he'll make you laugh, and then uh, he'll he'll definitely teach you quite a bit about getting some traffic to your site. Okay, so and then I want to mask this because I don't want people to see Google SEO magic in the uh, in the address bar when they go there. So I'm going to say enable masking. So if I leave it blank, this is going to happen. It's just going to pre-populate with the subdomain. Okay, but if I want it to say something like Antonio's site. Right, you can do that, and then that's going to pop up right here in the uh, in the, uh, uh, the the title. Okay, and you can also give some keyword descriptions and all that. None of that really matters. Okay, and then I'm just going to click OK, and then that's added. Okay, so when I go to friends.80tools.com in a few minutes, that's going to take me to Antonio's site, uh, which is a pretty cool thing. It's very easy to set up um, if you are using your HostGator. Uh, control panel then you would set up your subdomains uh, through HostGator uh, instead of GoDaddy but uh, on the GoDaddy side it is mostly for referring people to websites that are already published on the internet so if it's something that you're hosting you know maybe maybe it's not gonna work as well especially if the uh, name servers are already pointed towards HostGator so that's a basic uh, tutorial on getting your uh, domain set up and some of the uh, basic features of GoDaddy. Uh, really, it's it's tough to get through there um, without you know wanting to thinking that you need all of this other stuff that they offer you, but you know you really don't. Uh, if you don't know what it is, chances are you don't need it. Okay, so uh, I would recommend just just go through the process that I did, avoid all of the upsells and things like that, and just get exactly what you need so you can get started. Okay, there's a lot more great stuff on this site about getting your website set up. Um, if you uh, just click through the video tutorials, uh, there are basically four or five things you need to create your own site and host it and be in complete control of every part of it. Okay, thanks for uh, checking this out, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.